Hi, this is Aaron, and I want to welcome you to the Everyday Language Learner's Guide to Getting Started audio lesson series. This is the introduction. I want to begin by thanking you for allowing me to be a part of your language learning journey with a Getting Started Guide, and now through the audio lesson series. I hope that all of these resources can and will be an important part of helping you be more effective and more efficient as a language learner, and of course helping you to have a lot more fun. Language learning should be fun. It's not rocket science after all, and since you learned one language to fluency by the time you were five years old, I am confident that your adult mind can master another. I've created the 20 lesson audio series to be a supplement to your reading of the Getting Started Guide, but I also have added quite a few lessons that I hope will fill in the gaps and bring in other resources that I and others have written about. My basic goal with these 20 lessons is to empower you to be an independent language learner. Some of what you hear will be a repeat of things you've already read. It will be presented in a bit differently, and I hope that this different slant will reinforce what are for many a lot of new ideas. Independent learning is not something that our educational institutions are working to prepare us for. We aren't just getting on a bike again after a few, weeks a few years break. We are creating a brand new vehicle, and with it we need to reprogram to some degree our thinking about learning. I used to think that, for example, wiring a house for electricity was a task only electricians could do. Electricity is dangerous stuff after all. But a few years ago I finished up an attic to use as a spare bedroom in a home that we owned. I only needed two electric outlets and two lights, so I bought a book about wiring read diligently, and then wired the attic. I would run down to the basement to turn off the power at the breaker, wire in a socket, doing the best I could to follow the advice from the guidebook, and then, with a prayer and crossed fingers, I'd run back and switch the breaker back on. One time there was a puff of smoke and a pop, but all the other times, things worked just fine. I even wired in a three-way switch for the light at the top of the stairs. Before this experience, I would have not thought it was possible to wire a house. Now I think that I could, if I needed to, wire a house from top to bottom for electricity. It is in the realm of possible now. I could take small steps to learn how to do it. Not that I would, but I could. I believe that. With these 20 lessons, I hope first to walk you into the belief that you can learn another language on your own. I want to bring the idea into the realm of the possible. Not that you would learn it entirely on your own, but that you could. I want you to believe that. I want to give you the tools and the know-how to support that belief. And then I want to walk you step by step into the wonderful life of a language learner. It'll be quite a journey, but in the end, you'll be well on your way to successfully achieving your goal to learn another language. Over the course of the next 19 lessons, I want to talk to you about a number of things. I'll try to keep each lesson at, you know, under 10 minutes or so. The first few uh, lessons will be kind of about mindset, motivation, commitment, attitude, and creating a, a healthy and just real positive learning environment. Then I want to talk a little bit about just uh, language theory and kind of how we learn language. And, and some of this we've, we've talked about in, in the book. Uh, I, in the next three, 9, 10, and 11, lessons 9, 10, and 11, I want to unpack again and, and with, with new examples and, and hopefully fresh insight the ideas of input control, multi-entry, and integrated review. And then I really want to get into kind of setting the course to take some time to really walk uh, you through uh, how to plan a language learning program to think long-term goals, goal setting, and then the creating the day-to-day language program that's going to get you there. Um, finally, I want to send, give a few words about just kind of methods and activities and, and how to think about those. Um, what are some of the, the kind of the essentials that everybody needs to, to put into their kind of language learning toolbox. And then talk about uh, evaluation and assessment, as well as uh, a few words about kind of staying the course. How do we keep at this for the long term? Um, so that's kind of an overview of the, of the 20 lessons. Um, again, I'll try to keep them at under 10 minutes apiece so that you can uh, load them onto your iPod and listen to them on the way to work or as you're doing the dishes or something like that. So 
Anyway, that's, that's it, and I look forward to getting into this stuff with you. I'm excited that you are uh, asking me and allowing me to be a part of your language learning journey. So, that's it for the introduction. We'll see you in lesson number one.